Hey, one and all. Um, just wanted to bring you up to speed on something. You know, I try and cover as much as I can in uh, in the club car engine book I wrote. But you know, sometimes things come up and they just they just need to be discussed. Like this, admittedly, uh, they don't happen here very often. This is that uh, counterclockwise FE three fifty that I had for sale. It sold right away. It just took a little time to get the parts together. Uh, built the engine. Went for a test fire the other night. Um, you know, obviously we look at oil pressure, etc. And it was, you know, stellar. It just the valve train made a little bit of noise till the hydraulic lifters came in and uh, and boom, the thing quieted down. But it was a dud. And what had happened was um, when I shut it off and I went to restart it, I had a little lifter tick and then it went away. And, you know, when I do a reman, part of the process, uh, it's going to be a little bit challenging once again because I do this with one hand, but I disassemble the lifters, and then fully clean them, and then reassemble them. Now this style uses basically a body, and then it has a plunger, a valve, and a spring. Now beware that there's another uh, version of a club car lifter that uses a, um, a small disc in, in this area as a valve. But... Um, what happens is now it's when this sort of inspection teardown part and why I reuse the the uh, the hydraulic lifter after cleaning is that it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with any of the components. They're they're just spotless, um, and the spring felt pretty good. And um, what you'll notice is that if you get a bunch of wear between the body of the lifter and the plunger. Uh, because the lifter starts to to lose its ability to function, what it'll do is hammer this spring to the point where it's it's kind of almost flat in there. So you'll notice between lifters, like if we were to put this um, baby together, just drop the spring in there, oopsie day, and we put in the valve and the plunger. Now you'll 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 see that this. Well, it's hard to show on the camera, but you'll, there's a hell of a spring uh, fighting us back there. And that's usually indicative of the lifter not being a problem. Now, if you had, um, like to put the clip back in, you actually have to hold it down with a screwdriver and then get the, the, the clip back into its groove. Now, if you had one of these that was just almost like the plunger fell in, you know that lifter is shot and it can't be used again. I reused this lifter because it performed like really well good spring no no visible sign of any problem but n needless to say uh you know if you ever have a, a club car that you shut off and then when you restart it you get a little bit of lifter noise um that lifter is probably uh, not long for this uh, this world so um w you know i've got one on order and there's a little bit of delay here to get this engine out of here but um that's the way it goes sometimes now if your engine's assembled and you wanted to diagnose the problem, like say for example, do you have a bad lifter? What you could find is that you could idle the engine or run the engine however you want, and then you shut it off, pull the valve cover, and the rocker arm should be firm. It should be, on a hydraulic lifter, it should be up tight against the valve, and you shouldn't be able to push back um, against the lifter. And, and when I say push back, what you're pushing back again against is the spring. And so in this case, um, immediately after shutting it off, it was still firm. There was no problem. That lifter was functioning normally. But after a couple of minutes, it was spongy again. So that shows us that the lifter was bleeding down internally, although everything looks great. So um, I just wanted to bring you up to speed on that. Like sometimes you'll you'll have a bad lifter and that's kind of what you need to do, uh, know to diagnose the problem. So anyways, um, Kind of boring, but thanks for watching. I'll get this dud fixed up and uh, back to a happy customer soon. See ya.